so now with the DAG created we can add our copies to our add our database copies so we go to database management tab and then for each database if you highlight the name of the database you're gonna see how many copies that you have so for the Acme database we still have only one database copy that is on the EXCH new server and on the for the Contoso database we only have one copy being stored the active copy being stored on the EXCH new 2 server so let's begin with the Contoso server we're gonna add a, pass a passive copy to the EXCH new server so I'm gonna select the database and I'm gonna select right click and add mailbox database copy and then we go ahead and select the server that we would like to add this copy to select exch new press ok and the the activation preference number is the number the the lower the number the higher the higher the priority so um, this specifies the order that you would like to have the copy of the databases acti activated if you for example had a passive copy being stored on more than one server then if the active copy of that database ever fails then it would follow an activation preference order in terms of the number that is associated for that particular copy so I'm going to click on add and that's it and now when we go to the Contoso database we see now we have two copies the primary being on EXCH new and the copy on on EXCH new okay and then we can go ahead and we can do the same for the Acme database but we're gonna we can do this later on so now let's test the failover for our databases in the database availability group so Acme still has only one database copy that is only XH new and Gantoso now has two copies a passive an active copy on EXCH new 2 and an, a passive copy on EXCH new so back in our XB client let's just verify that we can still access the Contoso database the user JSON is on that database and then we're going to actually simulate a failure by actually shutting down EXCH new 2 as remember EXCH new 2 stores the active copy of this database of the Contoso database and to show you that we have for that particular user JSON is has his database stored in has his mailbox stored in the Contoso database. All right, so now let's test let's test the DAG feature by shutting down EXCH new two and verify that we can access the Jason's mailbox. Now, if we click on refresh here on EXCH new, we're going to see that the, the database failed on EXCH new too, and it's automatically mounting on EXCH new. Now remember in the previous tutorial we could not do this when we had only one copy of the database, one active copy and no passive copies. So now we are seeing that it is being mounted and there we go it's been mounted and the service has been detected as down on EXCH new and just to verify that EXCH new is new 2 is down we're not getting any replies from it so now let's go back to our client XP box 
So if you try to access back Jason's mailbox on the Contoso database, we should still be able to access it as the passive copy on EXH new has still been has been activated so that's it for today's tutorial on DAG I hope this has been informative and in the next tutorial we're gonna go into a little bit more detail on some of the other features on a database availability group exchange 2010